speed for now. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, y'all. Right, today we're going to do Jordan's beef swing. I've had a little chat with Cameron McCormack, thanks for your time, Cam, um, who is Jordan's beef's coach. He tells me, he's told me what they work on. We're going to try and reenact his swing, show you why he does the things that he does. He's got very interesting movement, obviously a world-class player, major winner multiple times. I think Jordan's a great example, and we'll see, hopefully, of someone who does it his way, but does it in a spectacular way. So today's question for that comment section down below, how many majors do you think Jordan's beef will win? So in his career, in his lifetime, how many majors? Hit that comment section up down below. Remember to hit that thumbs up button while you're down there. Subscribe to the channel if you don't already. It's gonna be a busy day. Should be a fun one. So let's take a look at Jordan's swing. Uh, some interesting movements. So we see a takeaway which is relatively textbook, face turning slightly down to the ground, nothing too uh, interesting or different there. When we get to the top of the backswing, we really start to see the product of what he has in his setup position, which is a weak left hand hold. His left hand hold is not seeing as many knuckles as you might be being taught to and when you're watching your basic videos. So then what we see because of that is we see his left wrist having to go into what we call flexion. So not extension this way, it's having to almost bow slightly on the way back to try and manage that club face. Now we're gonna talk about that further as we go on through the lesson, because I've got Cameron McCormack's notes on what he's worked on with Jordan that he shared with me last night. So we'll talk about what he actually is working on. These are just some of the things I see at the moment. Then coming down into impact, you see really aggressive use of that wrist again in the wrist angles. As it bows back, he's trying to maintain, trying to hold on to the face control, trying to control the face. Obviously, if you start with weak grip, the temptation is to deliver maybe a bit more loft and have the face possibly open to a path. By bowing that wrist back on the way back and the way down, he's trying to keep that face turned down to the ground, manage that face a little bit more. We see early up with the right foot, he's trying to get that kind of weight transfer and jump power into the back of the ball. He hits this slightly off the toe, which is why you see the face twist on the next room get this shot and he just slightly towed it um, and then on the way through we see the kind of famous chicken wing as people call it so the crumple of that left forearm which we'll talk about at the elbow it crumples at chicken wings um, as we go on going through to a nice extended high follow through we see quite a little bit of a funky movement in his left foot as well you can see his left foot slightly comes it peels up and spins around which we also know what Jordan does um, which actually Cameron talks about in some of his notes with me I think which again we'll get on to later on so it's heavy understandings of wrist angles around grip to get those matchups correct so he does deliver some kind of impact that he can trust and allows him to win tournaments like he does. I reckon we should try this swing. Me and Matt are going to go and in, uh, emulate this swing at Torquay. We're also going to talk about Cameron's notes on what he works on with Jordan as well. Let's get the Torquay Golf Club. Right, we're at Torquay. Hello, Matthew, on camera. Hello. Um, I got Cameron's notes on Jordan's speech. Do you want to hear them? How do you get them? Uh, I met Cam a couple of, oh, well, at the start of the year actually, and he watched, he knew very much aware of the content. We chatted and we, you know, we got a common interest in coaching. Uh, tall friend. Well. So, um, tall coach friend. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a nice guy. Um, so, here we go. He says, so I, I asked him about. Jordan Spieth's weak grip that we mentioned in the I mentioned in the breakdown earlier. He mentions that he can't pronate and extend his left lead arm. So that means he can't put his lead arm this way and then extend his wrist, which is very much what I would do to grip the club to get the knuckle showing. This is obviously why we see the weak grip because he wants to be probably quite neutral to a little bit of pronation, which would feel like supination to lots of people, basically more that way. Yeah. With no extension or next to none in the lead wrist, which is why we see the weak grip. And I think that's really interesting that we've never, I've never heard that before. Other thing I noticed earlier as well, he's quite a thumb gripper. Yep. So he must extend his left thumb and then hold it a bit, because you do actually see it a bit. Pop it underneath. Yeah, there. through there, which is quite <laughs> thick. And when I do the grip I'm doing here now, quite bunched up, extended thumb, weaker, I do feel quite speefy. Yep. Look like speef as well, don't uh, you, bro? You know, you a bro. <laughs> 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 he then goes on to say that they've tried to or they've worked on and constantly working on it kind of sounds like reducing how much he wants his wrist to go this way yes what people know as bow you've got extension flexion 
Cam calls it flexion, so trying to reduce how much he flexes that wrist. So it does sound like they're working on understanding or getting Spieth to understand how his face control is worked by his wrist angles. Yep. And they've got a monitor that he doesn't do it too much, which is obviously all a product of what we see from the beginning. Managing wrist angles. Balancing the match. Yeah. He then goes on to talk about set up lead hip, so left hip, trying to make sure it's a bit left at address, because I do see Spieth getting a little bit like kind of there-ish, yep. out with his knees and back. Yep. Because if I start turning, keep that hip back, then it's very easy for me to start extending my upper body, yep. which is what he mentions as well, so he doesn't get too much. So they're trying to work on making sure left pocket stays left and a bit in the back swing. So it sounds almost like they're trying to make sure he gets some tilt in, mm -hmm. rather than next to no tilt to reverse an extension. Yep. Okay, and this is the last bit, which is interesting. He says, they monitor rib cage turn, lead arm abduction, looking to create bigger shoulder turns and lead arm cross body in the mid back swing. So lead arm abduction is kind of this. So cross chest. Yeah. So it sounds like they're trying to get nice big shoulder turns and big whips on the way back, stretching this back and across the chest with a big shoulder turn. Almost probably to make some big turns, big stretches to make sure that power's still out there. I enjoyed that. That was, I like, that's just great access. Loving that. Yeah, that is good. So, I mean, I'm always, I'm just always a bit shocked with how lazy sometimes the telly is. I mean, how can we not know? Or maybe I've just not watched the right show about his lead arm. And I mean, that's literally taken one message to find out that. But anyway, <laughs> we can have a go. Go on then. Should we speef it? Speef it. So I'm going to go. He also does mention his knees being turned out when he walks slightly yeah and then references how his body matches up or doesn't which is what they work within as well which i think is really interesting kind of links back into all the tpi stuff um that many and i'm speaking about more so here we go my interpretation of speed weak grip next to no pronation of that left arm i'm going to kind of stretch out my back swing big shoulder turn and make sure i'm giving it a little bit of this not too much of ice camera tell us off <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they work very hard on that. Yeah, but then for me, I think he manages club face as well. So when I do these motions, hold on to the wrist angle that we see him do on the way down. If I feel like I'm going to like push that handle through with club catching up a little bit, yeah, it's going right. So I kind of feel like I understand what he's trying to do. He's literally trying to hit it. This is an exaggeration, okay? He's almost trying to hit it that way. Yeah. So what I did there is I didn't really pull here, I just made sure everything turned through, which is why this just kind of stayed or broke down much quicker. It didn't need to feel like this extension straightening, which is where we see the, the chicken wing bit that people talk about. Bodies and engine. At speed. At speed. I mean, I measured speed for the Masters. 17th with a rangefinder, he was 307 up there. Yeah. That's up an uphill slope. That was a non slope version as well. Nice. He was as long as anyone up that hole. Here we go, weak grip, stretch, and turn. Now, what I think is interesting with this is, look, I mean, if you look at the shot, <laughs> I feel like I can, I, can hit, I can hit the line with this. Yeah. Because the other thing you've got to remember with Jordan and all players is if you do start changing grips, and obviously for him he's got something that makes it feel uncomfortable for him, but if you did, I also feel this action is quite close to what I would do when I'm in a delicate wedge. Yep. And I stood with him and watched him play wedge shots with Justin Thomas, and Justin was in awe of his, like Justin was like, watch him do this. Yeah. Like Justin was making excuses with wedges, like, oh, I'm not that accurate. Well, and then Jordan came in and he was like, doosh, doosh, Watch doosh, this. yeah. Like, this guy loves this. Yeah. So, like, I mean, you do it with the fittings, you know, you can improve one bit. Here you go, here's your driver better. But if everything else, which is good, falls down, yeah. Because you go and change something, you're not a better player, are you? No. Nope. You've improved that skill, but they've improved the other ones. And the weak grip, like you called it there, kind of body and engine left arm doesn't have to get involved to me it just feels like interaction with the ground is just so simple yeah yeah i want to see you do this i don't think you i can't this do isn't this. you is it not at speed it's not no <laughs> so weaken that grip make sure this arm isn't turning this way you can almost turn it under on itself so i want to see it slightly weaker than that and i want the thumb extended yeah and grab the thumb a bit little pet 
peaky. Yeah, you want a little peaky blinder. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's back on soon. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? No, I, don't, I don't know what's any of them. <laughs> what? I know. I need to get on to that. Oh. We're making a video, bro. <laughs> we'll do that afterwards. <laughs> So, um, well, you're, why do you feel way. like, yeah, go that way, why do you feel like this is going to be hard? Um, because of the weak gripness, because I'm, I'm more strong than anything, aren't I? Yeah, you? and what do you want to do at impact with your hand or more than me? I just want to, like, get this going that way. Yeah, but you can't. What I mean is, what do you do with your hand? Oh, I go this Correct. way. Correct. Yeah, and I'm, I find it hard to go this way. Where I find sure. that really easy, yeah. which is why this makes sense to me, but to you... Yeah. It's a little weird. Well, match-ups again. This isn't your thing, is it? No. Um, I mean, but golf is your thing, though, normally, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty good at it. Please yeah. don't watch the St. Melian vlogs. Yeah. Right, here we go. Speed fit. That's it, bow the wrist. Really turn that body through. Oh, that's quite good. Yeah, that is really good. It's better than mine. That's it, the line. It's a speed ball. Oh, he speefed it. Oh, Beefing out. <laughs> That's gone quite far as well. Here's the answer, Matt. That, let me, that did it again. Perhaps I found it. That, that. St stop strengthening, start weakening. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh that that's right. gone. That's gone. Shouldn't have done that. That's, have left yeah, left. that's, yeah, you should have just one, believed two, it was the answer and moved on. You'd have been happy tonight. Yeah. It's interesting how they work it out, isn't it? Yeah, it is interesting. And that's what's great about lessons, isn't it? Trying to work out what's best for each person and picking bits that might make certain areas better and not changing the bits that are good too much. Correct. Like just finding out what works for the right person. So, But it's match-ups with the it. player, isn't it? With their yep. movements. And then it's equally match-ups with their emotions and yep. your ideas. That's why lessons can you know they're not they're not every coach isn't going to work for every player yeah correct. um but i mean our great access there we can i'm really happy he showed that because i didn't know that about his lead arm i mean my initial thought is like, let's just surely you've got to play with that grip a little bit yeah, for yeah. someone who can lose a driver yeah you know a long way right mm -hmm. but jordan to me seems like a very and this is a guess he seems like a very um what's the word like he's sure of himself as a player as a person like they can't get him to change drivers and they want him to oh really because he's just happy one, yeah. but it's not as if his driver is his best club mm. like justin thomas just which driving is great and he, he's confident with it he just yeah give me the latest one i want every help if it's going a bit further or whatever i'll yeah. have it yeah but Jordan won't change, and it's not as if he's a machine with the driver. He's just a proper grinder, isn't he? Yeah, and he just knows what he wants. Him, yeah, because there must have been people through his life yeah, trying that. to fiddle yeah. that grip, and he's going to have to be strong. Excuse. Oh, it hurts. Can't do that. Yeah, but that's oh, a great. Yeah, I won't talk I've about heard that in lessons yeah, as well, well, haven't I? I can't do that. But if I had it hurts. Yeah. Definitely not going to make Stale me do it. Checkmate. Yeah, I win. <laughs> <laughs> Just out of Dawlish Warren and for a nice evening of testing with some well some drivers videos coming soon hope you enjoyed today I mean I think Jordan's another great example what we're noticing as we do this more and more for me there's a few things I'm noticing obviously what I kind of already knew and hopefully sharing with you that there's no one way you find the way the best way that works for you and that applies to if you're world class or not and I think lots of people get bogged down thinking well they're good they can do that I see plenty of amateurs having to work it out their way through the way their body works through to just the way their mind works they can't do it the way that some other players do it you know it's all about the matchups it's all about having something in a position that causes x to happen then making sure y happens to balance it out isn't it and we see that with jordan from his grip and the way he wants to hold it or can or can't hold it and then what we see in his motion post comments down below remember today's question how many majors do you think he will win do you think it's interesting or not looking at these pro swings i'll try and do more as i get footage throughout the year i'm gonna probably end up going to lots of tournaments and meeting lots of players and spending some time and hopefully learning as much from them as can as i can to share as much of you post comments hit the thumbs up button let me know if it's something you're enjoying or not have a great weekend see you all on monday